Good morning everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. Today I've got some jobs on today, we're going to go around, we're going to check on some of the animals, some of the animals are going through, um, some are molting, getting bigger, some of the insects and stuff like that. I have got a clip of Snappy for you from earlier when I had the lights are all off and I managed to catch you doing something cool. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me and we'll crack on and look at all the animals. Here's the clip of Snappy first, first, well, second time I've seen him in there, first time I've ever been able to catch him on camera in there. That's the first time we've caught him in there. Hello, buddy. You chilling in the logo? Just, just floating about. It's an hard life, ain't it, buddy? It's an hard life. Oh, he's a good lad. So cool. And he's still there. This time he's got his mouth open. Wow! Look at him. What a cool turtle. turtle. So if we get it a tiny bit closer. Don't close your mouth, don't close your mouth, I need it. So if we look, he's got that little pink thing in his mouth. And what that is, it's a law. So he can wiggle that around, and it looks like a little, see it just moved? And it looks like a little wormy wiggling around. And if something comes in there to eat the worm, well his little law, he then goes snap and he catches up. Really, really cool, little bit of evolution. So he's evolved, because he's when he's big, he's too big to catch fishes, he's way too big. He's way too big, he's way too slow. So what he does, he sit, lit, wiggles that little law, and then that makes a fish swim into his mouth and he goes snap, and catches him. Wow, what a cool little dude. They grow ridiculous sizes, like three, three foot shells and stuff like that, it's ridiculous. Another thing I want to show you today, a lot of the praying mantises are um, shedding and getting bigger. So we've got one that shed yesterday, um, well looks like he did it last night, and he's a lot bigger than what he was. And we've got one who's in the middle of shedding as we speak. These are the ghost mantises, I'm not sure if that label's right, it's probably wrong. Um, it's just a tub I used that had the label on it. So we've got the dead leaf just there. You look at their faces, I think they look like the Who's from Whoville, if you watch uh, The Grinch. It's just the way their head shaped, it's quite funny. But if you look, he's in the middle of shedding. So he's got his, his old shed, he's still attached to the roof, and he's wiggling out as he can. But it's very important we don't touch him, we don't knock it, we don't anything. Because when he sheds, he's shedding his exoskeleton. That's his hard surface that protects him from everything else. Because they don't have bones, their bones are on the outside like armour. So he's shedding his outside layer of skin or armour, and he's going to be really, really soft and delicate afterwards. It takes him a little bit of time to um, harden up after that. So if we knocked him now, and he kinked himself or he fell, he'd be too soft, and he would damage himself and he wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be able to harden properly and he'd be damaged then from then on. So if you see your praying mantis like that and he hasn't moved in a while, you just leave them to it. Let them do their thing. Um, fingers crossed nothing happens, but it is very, this is the time if you're gonna lose your praying mantis, this is when it's gonna happen. They, are, it's, they can be very, very prone to hurting themselves and damaging themselves during shedding. Um, so you just leave them to it, you don't mess with them. Um, and hopefully, the last thing, you, what you don't want to happen is have them fall. That's one of the worst things you can have happen. Well, it's that day. I'm just about to ring uh, Nicole to tell her that her that Legos, the Axolotl number four, is ready for collection. First one ready to go. So I'll be ringing her in a minute um, to let her know he's ready, ready for collection. Hopefully she's got everything ready for him, but we can keep him a bit longer if we need to. But we're, Give him a ring. I think that's the only one that's actually ready to go. Go. There are a couple, but the other ones, but they haven't been allocated to anybody. Um, so I'll give her a call, and then we can crack on. I do have some other stuff to do with the axolotls, so we'll get another the little uh, the little tray out, and we'll have a look at the little ones. There you go. She's coming to collect him today. I did say I say he is famous, so you have gotta be careful. We gotta have to do. We have to say goodbye to him. We have to film him going away because he's famous, and everybody wants to know what's happened to Legos. So. That's the plan. She can come and collect him. So we go through, we'll have a look at the other ones 
see how they're doing, and we can crack on with the rest of the jobs for today. I've got to do the axe hottles and then uh, and do some more jobbers. We've had a rescue fish arrive. He's humongous. Look at the size of him. He's massive. So what we're gonna do? He's gonna go in the rescue tank. So he's gonna go in there for now, and then as soon as he's settled in, we might end up putting him in the big six footer. So we're gonna get him settled in, get him acclimated, and he'll be ready to go. Okay, we've sorted all the customers out. So now we're gonna start acclimation on our big, big fish show. So he looks like he's either a giant grammy or he's a giant kissing grammy. He looks a lot like a kissing grammy, same colours, markings, and everything. Um, but he's a humongous. Look at the size of him, he's bigger than my hand, he's huge. So we need to do acclimation now. So I'm gonna roll the bag down. Roll it down. Right, this then. A little bit of a little bit of floating device. That then floats up with the fishers inside. Hello, fishy. So we dunk this under the water, just a smidge. And then that mixes some of my tank water with the water in the bag. So he gets slowly gets used to the water quality we've got in the shop. There we go, buddy. Won't be long, won't be long, we'll be out and about ready to go, okay? He's apparently, he did have a bit of a hoo -ah trying to get out of the tank, so he has kicked off a little bit. Um, but hopefully he'll be fine, he'll chill out. Look, he's regurgitated food and stuff like that, so. We're assuming we get him settled, it won't be long now, another 10, 15 minutes and he'll be acclimated. Apparently he's at most of their fish, he's at all their frogs and everything in their tank, so he's a hungry boy. And apparently we can hand feed him and all stuff like that, which would be really, really cool. So we'll make him a good home and then we'll find him a forever home. It's gotta be a good sized tank though. So if you want him, you can talk in 400 litres plus, I'd have thought. Free, you might get away with free. If it's a big tank, to be fair, this one's 350. He'd do well in there. Uh, this one is 210, I think. He probably did well in there as well. But a lot of it's, some of them, the literage compared to size and shape as well. For example, he's virtually a foot long. If we looked at the tank and measured it, it's probably, a foot is probably there. So he has, he's got only that much room spare, so he hasn't got much room to turn. And if he's over here by the filter, he's gonna struggle to turn. So that's why we have to work out whether the tank is designed to give enough room for that size fish. We've got something a little bit funny. So, when people come in by the live food, I don't know why, but they seem to burrow towards the back. I don't know, I think they think that we stash all the good live food at the back. So, it comes in and they digs all the way to the back row. <laughs> but there's like this live food right here. But no, 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 I want that one right at the back. So all the live food is the same. At the, at the end of each week, so on Sunday, no, Monday, sorry, Monday, all the old live food comes off. I end up feeding it off to my animals and the animals that I have. And then fresh all goes on here. So I haven't got old ones on the front and new ones in the back. So there's no need to dig. They're all exactly the same, okay? There's no, 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 no need to dig to the back of my shelf, okay? Because I'm OCD and I have to spend half hour getting them all even again so I don't end up winding myself up. I'm doing, sorting it all out, there we go. Evens, happy, there we go. <laughs> oh, funny. And everybody, we are ready to release our big mate. So we span the bag round, we've been having a little bit of a spinny rooney. So there he is, how are you doing, sir? You ready? He's a big fish. Good size fish, man. Biggest fish we got in the shop now, if we don't count the koi. Okay, buddy, you gotta try and come out for me, okay? You, you, you're going the wrong way. Turn around for me. Keep going, keep going. You nearly done it. There you go, look. Way, that's better, isn't it? How's that? Plenty of room. Oh, let me get this bag out with all the poo in. Oh, lovely job, lovely job. Quick, we're just gonna put this in the bin. Who's the I'll do, I'll do. Okay, okay then. How you doing, buddy? Hi. 
What do you think? You can't eat my goldfishes next door. You can't eat my goldfishes. So leave him, let him have a chill out. Let him have a little explore. I'm a little bit nervous. He's got the little red lines going through his scales, which isn't a very good sign. Can be a sign of a little, little infection. But we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on him. If it gets any worse, we'll, uh, we'll give him a little treatment. But it could just be stress and that from being caught today and stuff like that. So we'll give him a couple of days to chill out. We'll leave the lights off for the rest of the day today to give him a chance. And uh, eventually he'll, re he'll realise he's got the old tank to have a swim around in. He's having a little bit of a panic mode. He hasn't realised that he's got the rest of the tank. He's a good lad. We'll look after him. We'll get him a good forever home. He's a good lad. It's better. Whoa, I managed to squeeze in an air cut next door. <laughs> anyway, shut the shop for 10 minutes. That's what it is. I'm getting me an air cut next door if you need me. <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to have a little wash down. And then I'm going to put my jacket back on, jumper back on, and we can crack on with more jobbos for today. <laughs> so I've got our axolotls out. This is row number two. Oh, he's eating. He's eating as we speak. Oh, he is he eating? Yeah, he's eating, look. He's eating as we speak. He's got a big chunk of woodworm. Oh, he's having a munch. He's having a munch. These ones are doing quite well, to be fair. We've got some good sized ones. We've got some smaller ones as well. Nobody's got their back legs here though. Oh, yeah, he's got a couple. Oh, come on, no. He's got the start of it. But everyone else in this one is a little bit underdeveloped compared to anybody else. They're still good sized little axolotls though. I love it. If he stays like that, he's going to have a little parallel lines going down his back. How cool is that going to be if he keeps those colours? He's going to have little spotty on his head and he's going to have stripes going down his back. That's going to be epic if he keeps those colours. Wow, that is going to be really cool. Do the usual, got to get them all out. Uh, food out, poo out, dirty water out, food in and uh, clean water in. And then we can put them back and then later on tonight I'll do the second lot. This all the axolotls. I'm just putting the last bits and bobs away, the little bit of equipment I use. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna check on the ghost mantis. I believe he's I just took water over himself. No, I didn't. I thought I did. So it looks like he's completely out of his shed now, and he's just holding on to it, completely exposed, hardening up, which is quite cool. So if we look. He's completely out now, and he's just holding on to that little bit up the top. So he's holding on. Just let, oh, he spotted us. He spotted me. He's like, what are you doing, Alex? I'm trying to harden up. He's having a fit next door. What are you trying to do? Yeah, he's virtually shed now. I believe that he's completely out. It looks like he's completely out. Uh, what I may have to do is order some hatchling locusts, which are locusts that are literally this, this big. They're tiny, tiny little baby locusts. Be perfect for them. Be the next size up. That's what we fed the orchid mantis on last time. So we'll order some more of them. I also think, well, let me clean the camera. That's better. So it's also, I think that's what's happening with the Asian forest scorpions. I believe they've got to the point now where they're as big as they can with the exoskeletons they've got. I believe they are about to start shedding. So what we don't want is loads and loads of bugs in there when we start them shedding. What we're going to do is we're going to move these out of the way for now. Ah! Got to move them out of the way. We're going to stay there for me a sec, Froggo. We're going to get the scorpion out. We're going to have a little talk about him and see what I... Explain what I mean when I think he's almost ready to shed. Oh, because what we can see, because they've got an exoskeleton. An exoskeleton, I've said it with the praying mantises, it's their armour. So they don't have bones on the inside like we have. Their bones are on the outside as an armoured shell, basically. So as they get bigger, that sh outside shell doesn't get any bigger. So as they grow, they need to shed it off and then they, their new skin hardens up to the new size and then they can grow a bit more. 
But what happens is once they get to that size, until they shed, they won't eat, they won't do anything because they've, they've at their max size. It's almost like if you've got a belt on and you've eaten and eaten and eaten and you can't eat anymore because the belt's on there. As soon as you release the belt, oh, it gives you loads of extra space and you can eat some more. Sort of like the same thing. Of course, we've got to get the glowy light out and we've got to make them glow because it's cool. We've got to do that. So where is Mr. Scorpion? He's not in his normal hole. I don't think. No, I started talking about the camera. <laughs> Normally, he's under there. But that don't look like there'd be nothing under there. I think he's under the little support piece. I think, we hopes. Ah! Oh! That was the uh, that was the spiky bit. Oh, look at him kicking off. Hello, mate. Don't you kick off? There he is. He's made his own little burrow. We get a little torchy. There he is, glowing. How cool is that? So I don't really want to unbury him too much. Yeah, it's going to stress him out. We'll put it back on. You're okay, mate. You're okay. I'm sorry. We'll pick one that's easier to see. You're a little bit too covered up there, and it'll stress you out uncovering him. So we'll leave him there for now. He's only got, got one locust and one cricket. So we'll cover this back up, and we'll get another one, which is going to be easier for us to have a look at. I'm pretty sure that's the biggest one, and I'm not sure if these ones will be able to give us the same example but i can still talk about it and show you what i mean hopefully this one's a bit more accessible and we don't have to stress him out to uh, have a look at him okay so he's under this big log i think there we go okay buddy can you move a little bit for us oh he's proper on it today proper on it can we have a little look at you we need to look at your sides Okay, so there we go. There's the Asian forest scorpion. And let me get something so I can point at him with stuff. Okay, I'm all ready. I've got my little pokey rounders. So he is not a fully covered in armor. So this is armor on his back and all around his claws. That's all armor. There's all armor around his tail. Come on, buddy, turn this way. Keep going. There's a the lad. And see, see all this side here? It's a slightly different colour. It's not shiny. That isn't exoskeleton. That is, that is soft, that is. So when these are all bulging, see that first one's bulging, first two maybe? And then you've got the three, the three or four at the back. They're not bulging at all. There's plenty of room there. So that shows she's not quite ready to shed because she's still got a bit, a bit of room there for her to, uh, to add a bit more fat. The one we've got over there that we couldn't really have a look at, the sides are, are bulging. They are. So that's, in my eyes, I think she's almost ready to shed because she can't fit much more in because those sides have all ballooned out a little bit. So that makes me think she's just about ready to shed. So in the next couple of days or maybe a week or two, she may shed. Um, we have been trying to sex them as well. Uh, I can show you how we do that. Um, do, 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 do. What we need is a tub with a clear plastic bottom. Um, there we go. Let's get a tub with a clear plastic bottom. And then what we do, come on, miss, come on, buddy. Look at him, he's attacking it. That's the box. Go and walk into the box for me, buddy. Well, we just want to show you how to sex you. Won't be a sec, mate, I promise. You'll be all right. In you go. So if I poke him on the bum, he may step in. There you go. All the way, buddy. Okay, okay, he's in. There we go. So if we look underneath, I we'll need a bit of a torch, I think. There we go. So you see, he's got. It looks like he's got little wings under his belly. So they've got nice little flicks on them. Let's see if I can get something to point at it. Okay, so we see right there, we've got these little wings. So the shorts, see they've got little hairs coming off them almost. 
the longer they are, those little flicks coming down, right there, that means it's a male. The shorter they are, means it's female. So I believe this one, as they're quite long, I'd say he's a nice little male. So that's how we sex them from underneath. You've got these little scoots. And it's this, when, when a spider sheds, well, they wiggle them around. Whoa, I've never seen that before. So when it's uh, on a tarantula or something like that, these are on the inside of the shed. I've never seen them move, wow. When you're sexing a tarantula, they're on the inside. So when the tarantula sheds, you can then get a look and find out if it's male or female. So it's usually white little wings inside and you can see. Exactly the same, but it's sort of the same sort of thing. Are you gonna come out, buddy? You okay all the way? There you go. Thank you very much for letting us use you for educational purposes, sir. It was very interesting and we learned a lot. I'll put you back in your little cave, how's that sound? Lovely job. Happy days. There he is, chilling. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, we'll be able to show you the, uh, the one that's a little bit larger than the rest of them who looks closer to being shedding and you might understand a little bit more what I mean by them side bits being quite large because on there she's, they're almost blowing out. She's that big. Been chump munching on the food she has, munching on the food, put loads of timber on and that means she's ready to shed out. Forever home, time for Legos, only Legos, whoa. So what we have to do, we have to do something a little bit special because of course they're in little cups. So we don't have enough water to fill this bag with axolotl. So what we have to do, we get some of the mineral water, we pour it into this bag to top it up, and then we add him to the bag, and then he's raring to go, and he can go off to his heather home, and he can live out his happy days. There's our bag of water ready to go. There's Legos. Look at him, look at him, the beast. Look at him, look at his Legos. Oh, look at him, he's got big legs. Full on legs now, so he's happy chappy. So we're gonna put him into his transport tub. Quickly transfer, there we go. So there you go, Legos. You get to go to your forever home, sir. You get your own tank now. Oh, you get a proper tank, you do, sir. Lovely job, that's what we do. We lift this up now, we unroll it, and then we tie it up, and he gets to go to his forever home. Legos is gone. What are we gonna do without Legos, man? What are we gonna do without Legos? Oh, I don't know, we have to pick another one, we have to name it Legos, and pretend nothing happened. That's what we'll have to do. We need another Legos, and someone please make legs so we can have another Legos, please. Anybody? Legos, maybe. Anybody? Anybody? We misses him already. He's only been 30 seconds and we misses him. Alright, we'll have to find another one and name it Legos. Okay then, everybody. I'm afraid that's all the time I've got for today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share. Ring that bell for me if you haven't already. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to our channel, she's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, she's up there. If you want to help support me, Morgan, and all the animals, there's a link in the description below. We just click join, and it helps support me and all the animals. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.